Hello, hello. Okay, we already started the class. If you want to speak, say hello to a classmate. Just go ahead and do it. Hello, Edwin. How was your weekend? Hello, I was I was talking in mute. I'm sorry. Um, um, I was it was it wasn't good. I really, really passed a good moment. Yeah, and how, what about you? How was your weekend? Hi, I I was stressed. Okay. Yes, it was nice. Thank you. It was nice. Yes, uh, I, uh, I yesterday I went to play soccer in the in the afternoon and we won one zero it was, it was uh, we are uh i i am in a tournament tournament but we are playing the quarterfinals so we we move on to the semi semifinal so next sunday we, we're going to play again and we wish we could uh, we could pass to the final you know it's uh it's uh, very special for me because uh I, I really like soccer a lot mm -hmm. it was good weekend i'm sorry it was a good weekend for you a lot yes. of sport soccer yes. okay yeah it was, it was uh, nice because you know it's, it's my, my favorite sport is, is soccer you know it's football uh, but i like to watch and, and i like to play it too yeah yes a good sport <clears throat> yes in my case yesterday i went to cinema with my twin sister Really? To the really? to the movie theaters? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, I and enjoyed, what movie did you watch? Um, welcome to Paraiso. Paraiso. Welcome to with George Clooney and Julia Roberts. It's a comedy. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And how, it, it was funny. It was funny? <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of fun with your... With your... With, who do you with? I'm sorry? Uh, with who you went to the movie theater? You, you tell twin me. Twin sister. Oh. With, with my twin sister. You, you, you have a twin sister? Yeah. Oh my God. I, identi nice. <laughs> identical. 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 Yes, teacher. Identical. Wow, so you're twins. Really? Twin. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes, it was fun. Did you say that movies with George Clooney and Robert and Julia Roberts? Yeah. And that's a new movie? New movie. Yeah. Ticket to Paradise. Yeah. Mm. It's fun. Is it okay? Was it good? Yes. In my case, both actors, they are my favorite actors. They're part of your favorite, our favorite actors. I mean, we grew up, we grew up with their movies, right? Okay. What is it about? Yes, it's a comedy. And yes, it's a comedy. And they are divorce divorce yes mm -hmm. divorce but it's a meeting for the daughters 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 their, their, their daughter? daughter 
wedding. Oh, so they, they are divorced from each other. Yes. They oh, my divorced. God. And, and their daughter is getting married. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that movie. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm glad. Anybody else wants to share what what did you do last weekend, guys? How was your weekend? Hi, good evening. Hi, Julia. Uh, sorry, I cannot turn on my camera because um, uh, is Livia my baby? Okay, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay. I, I, I'm going to talk about my my weekend. Uh -huh. It was a really long one. Uh, yesterday, I celebrated my daughter's first year. Mm. And it was so tired. <laughs> uh, I haven't realized what... Uh, what a uh, tire is that how 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 tired is that because uh i went to but i went to a uh, uh, kids parties but i haven't a uh, prepared one and it was really hard but it was good it was good but on saturday we went to buy the things that we needed for the party and we get lost on the uh, <laughs> on the on the central uh of downtown Salvador. you you yes. got lost in downtown yes what? because they are they have closed some streets oh. so we we couldn't drive in the principal so we had to look for for new alternatives. Okay, alternative okay. routes. Yeah, we got lost. Uh, it was it was actually a good adventure, but <laughs> but we uh, get in the actually in between of the central market, mm -hmm. and we could we lost one of. Uh, one of my sister <laughs> because she she uh, get off the car and we we couldn't find her then <laughs> we uh, keep uh, driving in circles trying to find her oh but at God. the end uh, we found her in the in 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 a corner, but it was uh, none of the one that we had passed before. Oh my God. And she yes, felt, it, I was guess good. She, it was good, she was but, but really tired. Was it? Was that in the morning or in the afternoon? It was in the morning. It was uh, at, we uh, left, yeah, we left our house at, eight nine nine i guess nine mm -hmm. and we came back <laughs> at 5 p.m oh my god yeah it was, it was a really long day <laughs> and, and and on yesterday mm -hmm. was very difficult too because i am not a people person mm -hmm. <laughs> but my my daughter is so we invite a lot of people and it was it was really hard to keep <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad to hear to hear that you you had fun. I mean, the first birthday party. Uh, if I, I'm a father of three, I'm a father of three, and if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have done that. You know, like throw a party. Maybe the first year, yes, but second, third, fourth, fifth, no. Maybe the sixth, seventh year, you know, yeah, let's throw a party. Let's do a piñata party because they enjoy it. They really enjoy it. 
Uh, when they're very little, you know, it's the adults. It's an adult's body in the end. But it's fun. Yeah, it's that, fun in that's the end. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But uh, her, my, mo my mother in law, uh -huh. she lives in Guatemala. And so she came oh, to, okay. to celebrate. So that, that's why we celebrate the party. Because it, I didn't want to. Is your daughter her first? granddaughter yes oh, okay yes. makes sense <laughs> okay <laughs> yes. hey good job just watch out julia with the past verbs just past verbs and everybody just be careful with the past verbs that's very important okay so and that's an area of improvement that we have one two three four five six tengo i have six people with their camera off if you could please turn on your camera if you can let me find the attendance and so we can start the class. I'm going to try to make you talk as much as possible this class. You have a task tonight, but I'll explain you later what it is. Okay, so today is Monday, September 26th. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Hey. Thank you. Anacelmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Present. Hey, thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Is Nelson here, not today. Okay. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. I saw her, but no. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Awesome. Well, guys, my weekend uh, was kind of interested. Uh, kids didn't have school on Friday, so I couldn't make overtime on, on Friday. Saturday um, is my short day at the call center. But then as soon as I finished work, we were supposed to do some errands. We were supposed to do some errands and then it didn't happen because for the first time in a long time, I got upset. I'm not an upset person. I never get upset. I mean, I, uh, you have no idea. Um, because I feel that getting upset doesn't worth it. It doesn't worth it. Don't you think? No matter what it is, I mean, no matter what it is, you cannot get upset. It's not good for your health. Uh, you can make the trouble bigger than it is if you get upset for anything. So I'm not an upset person, but on Saturday, man, I don't know what happened to me. I was just very upset with my wife. We were, I was arguing. I was arguing and, and that's not, that's not normal in me. I usually go like, yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. And that's it. But, and then something happened. I didn't want to go to church. If you don't know, I play the guitar at church. I sing. And that's very important for me because it's a service that I give at church. The thing is that I didn't want to go. I was closed 
I know my mind was closed. I don't want to go to church. No, 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 no. What, what for? Look, look at me. Look at the way I'm behaving. I told her, why am I behaving like that? No, no, no. It doesn't make sense. Going to church, if I'm going to be upset? No. But in the end, in the end, I went to church. Man, and the main lecture Oh my God, I was like, okay, this is for me. <laughs> Have you got that feeling? Have you got that feeling when you hear a lecture from the Bible and you go like, oh my God, that's me, <laughs> right? So it was good in the end, you know, at the end of the night, you know what happened? We went to, to downtown to buy a lot of vegetables at the night, at the Mercadito Nocturno. Have you heard of that? Yeah, man, that was amazing. We spent like $15, $15, a lot of cucumbers, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, and a lot of things. And we were happy. I mean, we went eating, we came back home, everything was fine. And so on. Sunday, I went to church again. I had to give another service. And we spent the rest of Sunday cleaning the house because it was crazy. Oh, and I went to the Chivo Pets on Friday after your class. I went to Chivo Pet. Tonight, I'm going to Chivo Pet again because Max is sick. He swallowed something. He has something on his throat and he's coughing <coughs> a lot. Can you imagine my dog coughing? Oh, my God. And that's me. Okay. Any word that you heard from me that you were like, Wait, what? A ver, rapidito. Quiero que sean bien honestos y de todo lo que dije, ¿quién entendió un 90%? Upset. Upset. Okay, good. You catch a word. Upset. Uh huh. 75%, teacher. Huh, 75%. That's good. Teacher. Uh huh. I I understand you that you talked about the, yesterday in the church, the, the main lecture. How do you say lectura? Lecture? Yeah, the main lecture. I think that's why I just, yes. ojo, reemplazar palabras. Si no sabes cómo expresar algo, buscar sinónimos. That's what I do. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, but you talk about the, the meaning of the lecture for you, but it is. If 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 you go to the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. I, I I don't know, but yesterday in the in the church it was so hard because the um, the Bible uh, talk about that we have we have to help to another people, but sometimes we didn't don't don't do that. Yeah, and, la last three weekends, uh, the gospel, the gospel of the Evangelio yes. has, has been about justice, justice. Yes. And, and yesterday was about Lazaro, but Lazaro, yes. not, not the guy that Jesus uh, brought no. to life. No, it was a, Abraham is, H. Uh huh. How do you say Mendy in English? By the way, Evangelio is gospel. I, I guess the gospel, I, I understand that it is when the when the people are singing gospel that's also gospel music would you oh. specific you specify uh-huh that's right uh i think it's homeless a bigger a bigger, bigger. i knew it some way bigger yeah b-e-g-g-a-r interesting so he yeah yesterday gospel was talking about a bigger and how he went to heaven and the rich guy went to hell. Oh my God. I was like, every weekend we go out with my family to eat, right? So, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm not going to. <laughs> oh my God. That's not okay. So I was scared. I was really scared, you know. It makes you, it makes you think twice. Okay. Wow. It's, it's crazy. So, and yes, I, I go to the Catholic Church. I'm catecumeno. I don't know if that sounds, if that rings any bell to you. Yeah, that kind of, it's a really difficult way. But that's what I am. So, okay, guys. <laughs>
I love it. I've been in, in the Catecumenado for 24 years already, 24 years. I was very little, let's say young, when I, when I started up. So going back to the point, volviendo al punto, ¿tienes? Si ¿Sí entendieron un, 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 a ver, un 75, dice Wilfredo, veamos un 70%. Six. Six. 60? 15%. A 60%. A 60%. I don't know who's talking. No se me ilumina el cuadrito. Thank you, microphone, maybe. Ok, voy a estar haciendo eso. Eh. Una pequeña historia, cualquier cosa, porque necesito que. Ok. Y por favor, stop me. Stop me. Si se fijan en el chat de Zoom, yo lo que hago es ponerles. Cualquier cosa que digo, mmm, eso probablemente más de alguno no se lo pueda. We were supposed to do some errands. What are errands? Somebody? In good Salvadorian? Mandados. Mandados. <laughs> What is doesn't worth it? It doesn't worth it. No vale la pena. Juan Gabriel, very good. No vale la pena. <laughs> <laughs> argue to argue. What is to argue? When you don't want to discuss with someone. When you discuss with someone, right? But watch out, no feast. Yes, is, discuss is, 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 is ver with verbally. Talk, verbally, yeah. Yeah, it's not a fight. You don't Look want at, to be, dime que te diré. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Look at that curly hair. That that's the way that's the way Edwin will look like if he had his long hair. Yes. A lot of very curly hair. Exactly like this. She has a, <laughs> yeah, that's what I use my uh, uh, my hair short uh, shirt exactly. <laughs> She's beautiful. Okay, guys, oh, we move on. Let's see. Uh, so somebody said, "What is upset? Upset synonyms: irate, irate, angry." When you feel, when you feel anger, when you feel anger. I feel anger in my heart. I feel upset. I'm irate. I'm angry. Uh, a bigger is someone asking for money. Um, actually, there is another term for that. And these are the guys that you find at the gas stations, panhandlers. Panhandlers are people outside the gas station asking for money. That's it. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you translate that, oh, well, it's all one word. I'm sorry. Bad teacher, bad teacher. It's all one word. So panhandler, that's another way to say mendio. Okay. So moving to the topic last Friday, you had some brief uh, expositions about the different types of um, candidates that you can look for when you're hiring someone. Uh, we were talking about an honest person, a transparent person, somebody capable of doing things. Uh, oh my God, and she's one year, she's one year and she's like very expressive. Hello, Julia. I guess her name is Julia or Patricia. No. Her name is Eloise. Eloise? Yes. Okay, what's her second name? Alessandra. Eloise Alessandra. Eloise Alessandra. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Very good. <laughs> Unbelievable, she's awake and it's almost nine. Okay. Okay, I'll do the voices later, okay? Not right now. So let's continue. <laughs> okay. I love making voices, guys. I'm sorry. So we were talking about how to select the right people, right, for your company. That's very important. Now, let's start the, the class um, with an opening question. Have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for your job? <laughs> this is a, oh my god don't feel bad okay be realistic be honest have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for your job 
It's like when they hired you for your current job, did you have what it takes? It means the experience, the knowledge. In other words, did they hire the right person? Or have you learned? Have you learned in the path? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, did you have what it takes or have you learned in the path? Let me give you a quick example. Sorry, oh. I'm going to talk. Oh, please. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Guys, please pay okay. attention. This is the way that we expect. I'm going to, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to, to explain. In, in 2015, when I was hired for the company, for the actual company that I worked, I getting got. Oh my God! I get got in. <laughs> Ingresé. <laughs> oh my God! I got into the the company uh, under an administrative uh, uh, charge like an administrative manager but i i never work work like like that i always work uh, in logistic i i and i try i try to to how can I say this in this symbol to oh my god to I try to develop I try to develop the role that they gave me but with the time I pass I I I began began yeah I began in in my in May and the past time the the time passed and around November uh, they have a problem in the warehouse the person that uh, was in charge of the some of the inventory has uh, an accident she broke broke she broke her her shoulder and she was uh, incap incapac incapacitated. Yeah, she was incapacitated. Uh, the the owner remembered that I worked in logistics for many years, and she told me, "I need you at the warehouse. You are most important at the warehouse than here, and I'm going to change you because you know more about logistics." And then that's the the reason of that the that's the reason. Mm, that's the reason uh, why because um until this moment I'm there at the warehouse I have experience I only want to know uh, how the how the system uh, works and I I learn I learn by myself because nobody nobody <sighs> Uh, teach me nobody tell me nobody train me i only uh, look at some chart that the other person the things that the other person uh, does do in a moment did did in a moment and that's the way how can i <laughs> how long have you been working for this company oh uh, i have eight years eight years You've yeah. been working eight years for that company. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's at the warehouse. Yeah. At the warehouse. Awesome. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Awesome. I okay. Like <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Well, if you like what you do, you know, I, I believe in faith. I believe in destiny. You know, some things happen for a reason. And you were meant, <sighs> you were meant to be there, maybe. You were meant to be there. Hmm. 
So that happened for a reason. Even that person having an accident, you know, it happened yeah, for a I reason. Yeah, I, 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 I say that. I say that. I believe that, yeah. I you believe know. that, yes. I believe that. I say, okay, thanks God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God, thank God. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Let, let, let's correct that. Let's correct that. Uh -huh. Una queja de los gringos. Los, los latinos decimos, no, thanks, thanks God. Uh -huh. No es mentira. He escuchado como cinco gringos quejarse de eso. Yeah. Thanks God. Y me lo corrigió un, un deportado, de hecho, hace como oh 10 años. Y en buena onda, ¿no? El, el Eddie, Eddie se llama, no, no lo olvido. No, he, I, I said, I said like 10 years ago, 10 years, not, not too long ago. I said, thanks God. And he was like, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 You said, thanks God. No, no, no. Say, thank God. Thank God. Ah, thank. Uh -uh. No thanks. thanks. Just thanks. No thanks. Ah, thanks, Let, you, thanks. Yeah, read the chat, read the chat. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, God, God. Thank God. Like that? Thank God. Oh, mm -hmm. oh okay. thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Okay. Thank God it's Friday. Okay, let's go. For the actual company that I work, good job. For the actual company that I work for. Okay. I never worked. I never worked like that. Okay, I never worked as an accountant. I never worked as an accountant. And never worked as an accountant before. The time passed. Time went by. Time went by and da da da. da. Pronunciation charge. In charge. In charge. In charge. The person had an accident. <laughs> the person okay. had an accident. You know, Rosa, your main area is past, right? Simple yeah. past. It's just a matter of practicing. Don't worry. Pronunci well, this is not pronunciation. We were just inventation, and it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Incapacitated? No, you say disabled. Yeah. Oh, it's and like a, huh? It's like an equipment. Disabled, enabled. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Disabled, enabled. Oh, okay. Now. How do you say estoy incapacitado? Mm -hmm. oh my God. Because if you say I'm disabled, you're saying <laughs> that you are incompetent, that you are incapacitado de por vida. O sea, I'm disabled is como decir estoy en cien ruedas. No, I'm, y si estás incapacitado por un par de días, I'm in disability. I'm on disability. disability. I'm on disability. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm in dis uh -huh. I'm on disability. Okay. Um, and disability form, incapacidad, el papel. Okay. Disability form, form. Okay. Um, time charge had incapacity. That is the reason why, and you said why, and then you were like, no, because. <laughs> No, it's why <laughs> you had it. You had it. Yeah. That is the reason why. Until this moment, I am in the warehouse. I learned by myself. Great job. A way that I I would have said, yo lo hubiera dicho, I became a self learner. Okay. I had to become a self learner. There was nobody to teach me. Hey, con congrats, congratulations. Lo from logistics to accounting. That was that's an amazing experience. Okay, one more person, and I, I like success stories. So one more person, success stories. I have an accident yesterday. When? My car broke down yesterday <gasps> on 29th Avenue. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. on, oh well on the 29th um uh, calle poniente. Yeah. Yeah, where, where, where they sell yeah. refactions and all that? <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Yes. What happened? I, um, I don't know. I don't know how do you say in English, but if you help me, La Flecha. Yeah. Uh, okay. La, la Flecha se salió de la caja. Oh my God. That's. Mm -hmm. Well, hmm. 
the in axon. That case, the in axon. That case, talking about the talking about mechanic is not mm -hmm. the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the arrow. It's ah, the okay. axle. I think it's the axle. Ah, the axle yeah, one yeah, of because... the shift box. That's. The, I think that's the way you say it, guys. Guys, come on, guys. Support me, guys, I don't Gabriel. Know <laughs> Relation with with cars. I don't know. I know. Okay. That's ten, these are technical words, and y ese es la, el talón de Aquiles de todo de toda persona que habla inglés y nunca ha estado en un país de habla inglesa. Ojo, eh. Ahí es donde los nativos dejan de ser nativos. So, yeah, technical words. I think it's the, the axle went off the shift box, something like that. Yeah, so what did you do? Well, I, 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 how do you say, pues así con la llanta así me orillé, como se dice eso en inglés? I left with a flat tire, I guess. I okay. left with a flat tire. The flat, I have a, I, I broke the, the, the street with with the I don't know how to, how to explain. Right, but right. I have pictures. I have pictures uh, when the um, the pump the golpe uh, of the heat, yeah. Of, of the heat um broke the street. Mm, wait, because so a piece. Of, oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, the axle hit the hit the corner of the street let's say the the sidewalk it hit the sidewalk and it broke the asphalt uh, yes right? yes i got you yes went back. it's broken and uh i'm waiting i'm waiting the press so presto. did they did they told your car did they okay. did they told your car did they i don't understand you did they tow your car? I don't know what is that tow. So, tow so when when you get someone to pick pick up your car and then yes 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 yes. So you you call I, a towing company. You called a towing company. Yes, I I called the asegurador. The insurance, uh huh. Okay, I called them and and I wait. They went for me. Man, poor and you, Susana. Today, and today I used the bus. I used and uh -huh. I feel feel very tired. <laughs> I have a many time I don't use yeah, it. Yeah, a long time without <laughs> traveling my bus. Okay, repeat, Susana. Used. 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 Today used the bus. I used the bus. Excellent story. Thank you very much. That's the point, guys. Try to speak. So let's go in small groups just for 10 minutes. Please share with your classmates. Have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for your job? You know, now that you mention it, I never planned to be a teacher. The first time I went on stage and I taught, I felt like the first time I went to do an exposition at, at school, you know, but then they said that they liked the way I spoke in front of the, in front of the um, students. So they liked my approach, my charisma. And so I am, here I am. I developed more and more skills. This is the way Rosa said, okay? So I want to hear you. Have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for your job or they just did you a favor? Solo te hicieron el favor. Okay, yeah, let's take this guy. Go work. <laughs> right? Okay. I want to hear you speaking, please, with your classmates in English. Come on.
I'm sorry, I have. How are you? It's a good book, I didn't okay. listen. How are your day? I didn't listen to the auction. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry, I have um, I have a take, uh, a cold. You get a call, a cold. <laughs> yeah. And he, I didn't listen to your oh. instruction. Look at the look at your chat. Look at your chat on WhatsApp. I'm sending you all some ideas, some ideas, so, so you can talk. Have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for your job? Okay, thanks. Mm. It's a mute. What? Anna, it's a mute. Oh, she's trying to speak. She's on mute. You are on mute. Come on, Nelson. Okay. Okay. I am thinking in my answer in this moment. Have you ever wondered if you had what it take for your job? It is common, teacher. Always we are ask, uh, asking. Oh, we are we are always. For example, when your boss told you, "Hey, did you do anything? Report, hey boss." But when you told us, "Hey, yesterday in the meeting, I told you, but what do you need to do it? Time for, or of course, but we we don't have enough time to do it. It was for yesterday." <laughs> but um, I don't know how have you have you take take as the new how have you had as as have you had this situation, Carla Nelson? Anna, oh, Anna, have, Anna, you been, have you been have you been on this situation? Have you been yes. on this situation? That's right. To be to yes, be to in the case when the a new project, for example, and you and you need to a specific skill, uh, if possible, mm, yes, it's, it's it's not frequently because my job is uh, routine, routine, routine is right, routinary, routinary. Routinary, but um, I uh, is uh, it's common. I have the specific project, and I need to uh, reinforce my skills. Mm. And for example, uh, when we have of. Um, the head of manager is, is the other country where the language is not Spanish. <laughs> in, my, in my case, is uh, the question. He uh, doesn't speak Spanish. Um, in general, the, the, uh, the other people in the other countries, it's not common they speak in Spanish. They prefer that uh, we try to speak English, but no Spanish. No Spanish is, is polite. No, must must be polite when the other people work in El Salvador. It's polite that the other People speak Spanish, but it's not common. It's not common. But I am studying. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. And you, Nelson, have you ever wondered if you have what take for you? 
Yes, actually, I have learned a lot in the in all of my my career because I before I didn't speak this way. Uh, even though that I work in a call center, I didn't like speaking English. Okay. And now, now I'm 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 trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. In, in my English. case, my my Aaron is a, a contact. Is a I think uh, I have a I have a I have a two experience in, in the in the my cargo in my in my charge in my charge in my charge is a uh, I have a. Age years uh, I wore at the contable and an accountable. Uh, uh, um, I have a I have a bin. I have a bin um, to make experience. Uh, um, haciendo, uh, um, Doing, doing, yes, yes, doing a uh, uh, long time, long time. Continue. Okay. I write question, Pamela. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I want to. You read, you're writing now? You me? No, uh, so sorry, uh, Ophelia. Uh, have you ever wondered if you have what it takes for your job? I, I had, I, I know how you work is a board and actually is family. Continue, continue, Freddy. Okay. Uh, I work is uh, I I work is company is uh, necessary is company. I. Uh, I actually is um, a working is I know why is team back is a uh, company is company is costly is country. Finish. They were buying. They were buying something, and and the seller he doesn't understand English because they they spoke just in English. I don't know where they're from, but but I saw them, and the sell the salesman in were trying. He was trying to understand. Uh, you know, he was with with her phone, and uh, maybe it, it, it were, they went in Google Translate, and they tried to, to the messages, mm. no, how do you, how, how, uh, well, but the thing is that I saw, uh, he was the seller, the salesman in Freum, he was like, he doesn't understand nothing from this, this, this from the guy, so, I I get close to him and I yeah, tell him and, and I tell him that you know what uh, I can translate for you if you want and I asked to the guy okay, what what he needs and he said that he needs a a 
a toilet in in a wash. How do you call the other thing that you when you wash your hands? Uh, I don't sink. remember how it the a sink. sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So he was like, oh yeah. So uh, I need this and this, and I was and I, under, and I understand what he needs. So I talk, I talk to this. Okay. Las personas que más creativas que he dado a conocer en mi vida son aquellas que en la marcha van figurando el camino en base a lo que han vivido en base a lo que están viviendo en ese momento y en base a lo que esperan vivir eso se refiere a que todo en la vida tiene ya un trazo recorrido es el trazo que vas desarrollando y el que esperas obtener y si vieron el video que les envié de, de este profesor español si ¿sí? se acuerdan ¿Sí? enseñar desde la mente del que aprende ¿Sí? Es importantísimo que tú en tu trabajo apliques esto. Si Dios te regala esto, pues que, que puedas desarrollar un poco esa manera de enseñarte a ti mismo y de desaprender. Desaprender es, pues, hacer de caso que lo que conoces, no lo conoces. Ahorita vamos a aplicar una dinámica eh, con lo que acaban de hacer. Piensen en lo que les han dicho a sus compañeros, porque me gustó mucho que lo saqué justo en el momento en que todos estaban conectando entre sí. Si es lo mismo grupo, pues lo voy a volver a armar y vamos a hacer algo, ¿eh? So, piensen en lo que estaban diciendo. Voy a pasar el listado ahorita, estoy hablando en español para ahorrar tiempo, ¿ok? So, really quick. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Primer present. Okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. No se conectó hoy. Ok. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Yeah. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Bien, la capacitación con la OIT, con la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, uh, cuando yo estaba exponiendo mi, mi proyecto a un profesor de otra cosa, no sé qué materia era. Eh, decía, y de hecho este, este personaje era de, ay, de este instituto que está aquí por la terminal de Occidente, eh, que tiene un cocodrilo arriba. Deliti. Ajá, Deliti, buenísimo, buenísimo. El, el señor sabía muchísimo de fórmulas y todo, o sea, era un científico. Eh. Y, y durante mi ponencia él decía, ¿y por qué, por qué le estás explicando a los estudiantes lo que vas a hacer? ¿Qué sentido tienes que, que expliques tu pedagogía? Y alguien lo corrigió de, de estas personas de la vida y le dijeron que por cierto eran italianos y le dicen, pero es que déjalo, déjalo, que hable, que tienen que explicarles a ellos qué es lo que va a hacer, que no sé qué. Yo, 
¿Pero por qué? Porque el alumno tiene que entender el porqué de las cosas. Bien, estabas diciéndole tú a tus compañeros, y yo veía esto, el que, digamos que Wilfredo estaba hablando en su grupo y Wilfredo bien entusiasmado y con todo, vea, soltando su historia y recuerdo que cuando fue la entrevista me puse muy nervioso, no sé qué, y todo así. Entonces, para que veas de qué te va a servir lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, eh, no es solamente la idea de que te, te enfoques en, en comprender lo que está haciendo tu compañero. Entonces, el que habla, ok, suéltese, diga todo lo que tenga que decir, inténtelo, porque va a servir de experiencia. Y los que están escuchando tienen que parafrasear lo que dijo su compañero en español rapidito. Ok, mira, ¿verdad que dijiste que tenías un gato gris? Ah, no, no he dicho eso. Estamos hablando de trabajo. Ah, ah pues te entendí mal. Va, pero hablaste de tu jefe. ¿Sí se entiende? ¿Sí? No se trata solamente de respetar al otro y escucharle, sino ver qué capacidad auditiva tú tienes ya a este punto. ¿Sí? Comprobar que lo que, que, lo que decía el video de este profesor es cierto. Entre ustedes se entienden. Te va a parecer hasta gracioso. No es que sí. Yo le entendí, estoy seguro que lo pronunció mal, pero yo le entendí, ¿verdad? o sea, y te va a ocurrir, si te acuerdas del video, ¿y qué es esto? Decía el profesor, un plátano, comérenlo, decía los niños, ¿sí? Que ve el video, y si te toca dar alguna ponencia en tu trabajo, pues mira ese video, te va a servir de mucho, ¿eh? Ánimo, eh, vamos a hacer esto de nuevo, 10 minutos, 12 minutos exactamente, ¿ok? Te animo a que participes en tu grupo, y que... Luego de que termines de hablar, dejes que los demás se, te den su opinión sobre lo que tú dijiste, ¿ok? ¿Good? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿No? ¿All good? Ok, teacher. Va, vamos. Va. Let's go. Yo no estoy ahí, ¿eh? Let's go. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, Flora. Hello. Are you ready to start that? the call again? Yes. Let's do it. Who is, who is speaking? In the beginning of the month, he will play the trumpet in his altar and over it. I, I don't know. <laughs> La trompeta se stop. <laughs> okay. Who's going to be the <laughs> del universo? Creador del fruto de la vida. Haru atado na el ojenomico. Perdón, Nelson, se le está colando el audio. Eh, no sé si hay algún evento ahí cerca de usted. De Chique de Shani. De Nicotá Bastidú. De Enjontón Mica. The same question, teacher, or the other question? Okay, so we're going to do the same question. Do it again. Have you ever, what was it? Hold on. Okay, have you ever wondered if you had what it takes for job? The feedback about the, the Wilfredo's comment. And please, Wilfredo. Uh, Can you say, uh, corrige me? Correct me. No, it's not about correction. It's about comprehension. So, a ver, ¿quién va a hacer la pregunta a quién? Uh, Who's going to make the question? Me to uh, Wilfredo. Me, you to Wilfredo. Okay, so everybody else, Floor, Nelson, and I said me, pay attention, and then you go. Okay, Wilfredo, ¿verdad que dijiste eso, 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 eso? Mm -hmm. Y luego Flor le va a decir, ajá, pero también dijo esto y esto y esto, ¿verdad? 
Ah, la discriminación. No, no, no. Ahí dijo esto y esto y esto. El, la cosa es entender lo que Wilfredo uh -huh. dijo. Veamos si tenemos oído. Ok. One, two, three, okay. go. Okay. Wilfredo, you say you say um, you have a, a experience with the with your job in your job uh, related to you participate in a specific pro ah okay okay allow you it's allowed you yes allowed yes allowed yes allowed yes yes allowed yes 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 So now I think everyone had to tell me if they understand what I said before. Sorry? Now that you have to tell me in your own words if you understand what I told you before. Well, uh, I understand, understood, sorry, I understood about your history or your experience that you started uh, being a paralegal, right? Then uh, they offered you an opportunity to become a manager of a, of a new area that it was not that I guess. Uh, and you hadn't, yeah, you hadn't the experience or the uh, yeah, you hadn't the experience that they needed, but you took the opportunity and you made made, made your best. Um, And that's what I get. And in your case, Andrea, could you tell us your, your experience? In my case, experience, experience uh, for uh, years old in a contable. Uh, Became uh, beginning uh, uh, despacho contable uh, in uh, when when beginner uh, university uh, study university in in the say uh, for in the say for uh, experience uh, practice contable uh, auxiliary and assistant uh, then then uh, uh, accountant general uh, in the moment in the moment That's it, Julia. Thank you. So I understand that you work in a accounting firm as an accountant. Yes, yes, I account. Okay, and um, oh my God, I forgot. 
and um, no, I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. okay. Julie, I could have been. Well, actually, I I have to apologize because I ran to get my baby. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> uh, when, I when see sí, no. What what years old the baby? What years old the baby? Ah, uh, she's one year old. Uh, yesterday I celebrated her, her, her first year. Ay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Pamela, do, do you want to uh, share us your experience? Hello, I'm so sorry. I was being well. Well, I'm dinner. Uh, how is the question? Sorry, about my experience, uh, professional experience. That's that's the no. question, right? No. The question is. Uh, the question is: Had you ever wondered if you had, if you had what it takes for your job? Ah, yeah, yeah, so sorry. Yeah, I said it before on the last. Uh, well, I work as fashion designer in a clothing skin brand. And when I take the position, I really have feel like experience that I, that I need to take the job because um, my before me my work before that it was a, always in the same uh, area because they are the competitors so when i changed to the new brand then to my new brand uh, i feel it comfortable and co um, and with confidence with myself to take the job oh but also yeah um as Every time when we we want to get get a change, uh, get a new chain, uh, well, well, it was a kind of um. I'm thinking about it if I had the necessary or not, because uh, every time you get a new position, you need to learn about the how uh different enterprise do the job. Because uh, well, you can have the experience, but it can be different for uh, the the companies. That's only that's that. Yeah, that's, that's all. Well, yeah, I agree with, with what you said. Uh, that we are always uh, having a new challenge. Opportunity, right? yeah. In my case, it was it was pretty the same. I was uh, I started working as a diff as a really different thing, and when I get the new the new job, I I had a lot of. Uh, a lot of problems. Yes, mm, yeah. yes, a lot. And I remember that I I started to work in it in the new place where I when I'm working right now. Yeah. And they gave me they gave me a a new ass uh, assignment. Yeah. And I I didn't have the idea how to do that in the person who 
feel comfortable. Yes. And yeah. the person who was teaching me, yeah. she was about to leave the the, the position. Yeah. Yeah. So she she just did the minimum <laughs> to teach mm -hmm. me. So mm -hmm. I had to I had to imp improvise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you need to replace the last person. Yes. And what yes. is the position, sorry? I am an uh, administrative assistant. Yeah. Yes. And before that? Before, I was like a seller because I was working in a call center uh, and I, yeah, I, I, I sell the products service yeah. no yeah, it was okay. I, I was working for for hilton i was selling the hotel yes oh okay so, so, so the service right the pack was mm -hmm. the different packs that you, they offer yes oh, okay yeah but well it was like, a good experience uh, and you how much time do you have in the new position? Uh, I have five years. Wow, you have many. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Well, that's, well, I think that you have too many years to, in this, to get the new position. It's because you have, it's not also the experience. It's also the, the way that you can communicate because you work also with uh, with persons, with different kind of people. And I think that you have the, the necessary, not only the experience about it, because you, well, you have many years now, but uh, mm -hmm. also you have, uh, how, can I, how can I say that? Um, um, capacity? Yeah, the capacity uh to get to get the job that you really in the first time you get you wanted yeah mm -hmm. and now you like it or you continue uh yes uh, the the you learn you're learning about it in the in the in the big in the began yes i lo I, I learned a lot and right now I am a, I am also learning learning yeah. because I work in a in a lawyer firm firm and we oh, I am not I am not a lawyer <laughs> and I have and I haven't studied nothing about it. Mm. So but when I Okay. Let's see, is it the performance? How many is it close performance gap? Yeah. Okay, so I hope you were able to talk to your classmates and I hope you understood your classmates. So really quick, did anybody identify? I'm just gonna choose someone randomly. Let's see. Uh, someone, um, I want to hear from you if you identified any gaps. You're gonna hear this word very often right now. Oh, that's a good brand of 
jeans teacher. <laughs> what is a gap? <clears throat> yeah, I, that happened to me when I was a kid. I saw the, the name guess as well, the, the verb. <laughs> yeah, the verb guess. And I was like, hey, that's a nice brand as well. Right. So a gap. What is a knowledge gap? Let's say, Wilfredo, what is a knowledge gap? Knowledge gap um, in my company, for example, is the difference between um, efficiency graph chart. In the chart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, we use this term, term, terminal. Term. term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. For example, plant efficiency is when the, we account the night hour of the day. Mm -hmm and operator efficiency. When we discount, for example, the stop machine or downtown machine, this difference that between, times. yes, the difference in between uh, operator and plant efficiency, this is, the difference is, this is gap for me. That's the gap, the, but that's yeah. the efficiency gap. I like that. Yeah. So if you understood uh, what what Wilfredo does is just a comparison, um, and, and it's very simple actually. Um, in a production line, you have people performing better than others, but there's people running in the middle as well, just yeah. doing doing your job. It's like if I tell you, Ada, you have to produce ten shirts, ten shirts per hour, okay. 10 shirts per hour. That's your goal. And you produce 10 shirts per hour because you know that if you produce 12, if you produce 15 shirts per hour, uh-oh, I'm being too efficient, right? <laughs> they will increase, they will give him a more job, right? <laughs> the average with the standard. Exactly, that, that's, mm, it's average and a standard is synonym. It, that's a synonym, uh, and no? No, I, no? I guess that not, not because average is when you, hmm. promedio. Yeah, like that's a, the average. The yes. And, and the standard is like the common. Yes, it is the it's same. Common, so it's yeah. the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, the common trend, the standard, and the average. So the average operator, the standard operator, the common operator produces. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so then you have top performers, bottom performers. So a gap is just emptiness to define the term. In, it's, it's just... I mean, the term is, is just the gap, you know, a space between two objects. That's the gap. Okay, so we're gonna hear that term right now in a lot. Today, we have to talk about training needs assessment and really quick, we're just going to understand briefly what is a training needs assessment. Um, I don't want to get into the jargon. Jargon means um, difficult words of X subject, you know, any subject. I hate when people goes with jargon and talks about what they know using jargon. La jerga in Spanish. That's jargon. Don't use jargon. That's not okay. So in a few words, let's read the terminology first and then we understand it. Uh, training needs assessment is the method of determining if a training need exists. And if it does, what training is required to fill the gap? This is achieved by collecting both qualitative and quantitative data for analysis, qualitative, quantitative. What is tangible, what is intangible? So look at the little drawing. 
there's a skill gap. I think it's a pit of this mirror or this despair, but that's an employee on the left. You have a, on green, you have an employee, the current skills that your employee may have, and then the skills needed, which is the um, expectation of the company. The company expects the employee to achieve those goals, but there is a gap. There is emptiness of, um, there is lack. There is lack of skills. That's another synonym. There's lack of skills from the employee. So how do we fill this gap? Training, training the employee, making sure they have what they need to perform the job. If you wondered if la palabra scrutinio existed in English, yes, there it is, scrutiny of the training. So to analyze the training needs, you have to follow a process, which is very complex, okay? But scrutiny, let's read a little bit. Uh, let's see, we, uh, Ada, would you please read? Okay, uh, scrutiny of the training, learning and development needs of the employees is considered the KSAS and how they develop them and support the individual's career progression. Excellent, thank you. KSA stands for, and I'm gonna write this, KSA, okay, stands for, así se dice, esto significa tal cosa, okay, KAS, KAS, KSAs, I will turn off my camera just for a moment, okay, Julia, KSAs stands for knowledge, skills, and abilities, knowledge, skills and abilities. It considers the knowledge, skills and abilities and how to develop them and support the individual's career progression. So if you remember the first topic of this module, we were talking about what? See, continuing development, what was it? CDP, right? Planning. I, I can remember. So continuing development programs. Continuing development programs. So it, it was the point, this, this point, this specific point where the company makes sure that you continue your career progression and they, they are concerned. They are concerned about you preparing, becoming a professional. Okay, so training needs assessment. Uh, who wants to read? Carlita, you're too quiet. Okay, training, training, training need assessment. A process by which we can determine what sort of KSA of employees that can be accomplished via some sort of learning training means. Okay, uh, th this is the definition. Thank you, Carlita. Let's see, uh, a process by which we can determine, we can determine what sort of, sort of, uh -huh. what, what did we say? Knowledge, skills, and abilities of employees that can be accomplished via, mind this, via, some sort of some sort of learning training means. So in other words, training needs assessment is a process that we follow um, in order to identify what we can do, but it, it also considers what knowledge, skills, and abilities our employees have. So before conducting the training, we need to identify what are we going to teach? What are we going to train the employees on? 
I will give you a rough explanation, a rough example at the end of the presentation. I just want to go through some slides of it. Okay, a training needs exists when there is a gap between what is required of an employee to perform their work competently and what they actually know. Um, for example, this is a clear example. You know, in the call center industry, there is a major problem. And I'm talking about all these years, since 2003, when the first call center came to El Salvador, they had a lot of deportees, you know, people who came from the United States, deportados, deportees, okay? These guys knew English. A lot of these guys were very good at speaking English, but some of them couldn't use a computer. Okay, so there's a big gap. There was a big gap. So, and some of them even had studies, you know, like they were very smart, but they didn't know how to use a computer. So that gap, some companies, some call centers started a program to teach the, um, the applicants. Imagine this. They wanted to teach the applicants how to use a computer just to hire them as employees. Of course, we're talking about monster companies like Dell Computers, for example. Dell Computers, okay, for example. So they started training people how to use a computer and then they hired them, perfect English, perfect use a computer, etc. So that's a very clear example. The gap was technological. It was a technological gap. Um, really quick, training may be incorrectly used as a solution to a performance problem. Now, be careful. Um, sometimes maybe you don't need to train the person or uh, if the person, you, in other words, you have to identify what is the real problem. Why is this employee not performing well? Maybe it's just a personal problem. Maybe the person is depressed. You know, there could be many factors why somebody is not performing well. Um, maybe, you know, the training program may have the wrong content. You need to make sure you get the right content. Um, maybe they will be sent to training programs or for which they do not have the basic skills or confidence needed to learn. And again, I couldn't send someone to learn about computers if they have never touched a computer. Make sense? Yeah, and so on. Okay. Now, these are just other um, objectives and other, other points to consider. Learning can be directly related to organizational objectives. Learning can be targeted, oh, targeted at specific requirements. Learning needs can be identified and prioritized. Again, prioritized, prioritized. Learning can be tailored to requirements. What is the meaning of tailored? Synonyms, synonyms. Exactly, very good. Fit, training, I mean, learning can be fit, okay, to requirements. It can uh, be equalized. Yeah, it can be equalized to requirements. I hope you're getting it. That Those are synonyms of tailored. Okay. Prioritize, you got it. Okay, so there are abilities or, or performing abilities. The current performance 
versus the expected performance, that's the way. So actual performance minus the expected performance gives us, uh, this is a formula and, and this, this is the, uh, what we're expecting. Um, this will be the performance goal, performance goal again. So actual performance minus the um, expected performance by the company is the performance goals. So what do we need to train them? What percentage this person needs to learn? Now, why am I explaining you this? Because you need to focus on what you're about to do. You need to create um, an assessment needs, a uh, needs training assessment. And this is very simple. There are different ones. I'm just gonna give you the options. Let me get there. I'll send you this presentation. Okay, uh, this is just too much, but here are the options. For example, how do you conduct a needs assessment technique, a uh, needs assessment um, tool? How do you create one? There are options. The first option is observation. This is a, a technique, an approach, let's say. Observation, you stand next to the person and see how the person is performing doing her or his job. For example, um, I don't know, let me think. Think about someone or you performing one process, just one process, okay? Let's say that your job, then let's stick to this plan. Your job is sending emails all day, you send emails all day, 100 emails, 200 emails a day, okay? So observation will be, I am your boss, I sit next to you and I watch you working, okay? Now, pros and cons, okay? The good factors versus the bad factors, let's say, generates data relevant to work environment, minimizes interruption of work. Now, so this is something good for the company uh, because you, you get to see how your employee works. That's why you generate the data relevant to work environment. How is my employee working? Uh, does he have the good tools? I mean, a good computer, a good keyboard, a good mouse, a good chair. Okay, she's so sending emails all day, minimizes interruption of work. Of course, I can do this without telling the employee, hey, I'm gonna be observing you. No, 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 just do it, just observe. Now. The consequences, the bad part of doing this specific technique of serving the employee, it needs a skilled observer. What it means that if you're going to be the observer, you have to know what the employee is doing. You have to know the processes, okay? I have to know how to send emails faster, okay? Employee's behavior may be by being observed. So again, the person can get nervous if you're observing the employee, he will get nervous and go like, oh my God, he's watching me, right? Nervousness. Bien, vuelvo al punto anterior. No nos hemos perdido, estamos entendiendo un poco. Vamos explicando técnicas de, de cómo llevar a cabo la, eh, um, ¿Cómo determinar si es necesario un entrenamiento? O sea, ¿qué es lo que vas a enseñar, verdad? Hay diferentes técnicas para realizarlo. No sé si todos estamos en la misma página o alguien se ha perdido. I'm okay, teacher. I, I, um, you work on this, right? <laughs> no, yeah, it is like my, uh, the, the situation is that in my company always are analyzing some process. And um, this, this is a good tool to observation. For example, when we need to improve some process, uh, always the managers told us that uh, you need to, to make a, a direct observation, observation mm -hmm. directa. Direct observation, uh huh. It is, a, it is one of the first technique, technique techniques, to, uh -huh. techniques to improve some process because when you start to, to make a 
um, a good observation. Mm -hmm. mm, you start to, for example, in your mind, you have you, you start to you start picturing. Yes. Wilfredo, go ahead. Uh -huh. Picturing. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. I got uh -huh. it. Continue, continue. You, you start to make a checklist, and if this is a good uh, pasa no pasa, pasa <laughs> no yeah, yes. right. Then you you make a, for example, a, a report, and this is good. We need a method chart, or it is another. Uh, let me let me remember another technical chart, carta mm -hmm. técnica. We need to, for example, when, when a machine doesn't work well, we start to make a method to, to, to get the best result. That's the whole point. You, you need to identify flaws. You need to identify the flaws. If there is any flaw on the process, like a machine not working properly or, or you know, the employee not having the proper tools, Right? Eso es como enviar un profesor a que enseñe sin plumones ni pizza. I'm like, what? Right? <laughs> okay. So the same thing. I got you. I got you. You need to identify the flaws. Let, let's go with the second technique. And this is very common. This is old school. This is old school. I think I'm trying to do both things at the same time. This is old school. Okay, the way we used to do it back then, uh, questionnaire. You know how you prepare a questionnaire, a survey or survey, some people say, a survey. And then you go like, do you feel, do you need, you have everything you need in your job? Um, how do you feel at work? Why you cannot reach the goal, right? Open questions, closed questions on a questionnaire. So now the pros, the good part of this, it's inexpensive. Okay. You can collect data from a large number of people. Let's say, continuing with Wilfredo's example, you have a production line of 150 employees. And then they do, you conduct, you conduct the, the questionnaire the survey, you will get a lot of different answers. Now, the data is easily summarized, especially nowadays. I guess all of you can create Google Forms, right? You can do Google Forms, right? Google Forms are so easy. I mean, in 10 minutes, you already have a great questionnaire. So these are the pros. And the good part of, the good part of Google Forms is that it gives you the results of the questionnaire in, in graphics. I mean, wow, that's really good. Now, the cons, uh, the bad part of this, it requires time, hmm. possible low return rates or inappropriate responses. But I, I disagree. I disagree with it. I disagree with this because if you do the proper questions if you only do closed questions you know like yes no yes no right okay then you will get a straight answer okay and lack details even if you leave a blank space some people doesn't like to to say bad things let's say right o algunos de ustedes les han pasado un cuestionario en su empresa y se han quedado han dicho todo lo que sienten contra la empresa. <laughs> you got like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, I love my job. This is not a good idea. <laughs> right. Then, so, espero que me estén siguiendo. Si se pierden, díganme, por favor. Ya llevamos dos herramientas, observación y cuestionario. Ok. Uh, the next. The structure of the question, yes, teacher. Yes, correct. That's what I'm saying. Quality, the quality of the information to get depend on the structure of the question. How, exactly. How do you uh, how do you um, create it? The questionnaire. What questions you're making? 
if you made good questions, then you're gonna get good results. That, that's very good. Okay, let's go with the third one, interviews. Okay, you conduct interviews. Good thing, good at uncovering details of training needs, as well as causes of and solutions to problems. Uh, you come up with a discussion, a debate with your employees, you know, an interview. Um, you can explore unanticipated issues that come up. Algo que, y eso lo voy a decir en español porque es muy importante, que espero que todos estén poniendo atención. Eh, cuando tú entrevistas a un empleado, es muy probable que te encontres con situaciones que ni te imaginabas. Sí. Yes, this is muy interesante ese ejercicio. So uh, that's what it means, you know. And now the consequences, the bad part of doing uh, interviews with employees, random employees, is time consuming because you have to go one by one. Difficult to analyze? Yes, every head is a world. Every employee is different and you will have different answers. Uh, needs skilled interviewer <laughs> the interviewer he must know interviewing techniques maybe a psychologist will be fit the position a psychologist will be good um, difficult to schedule yes depending on the job position it's not easy to tell Carla hey Carla come I have to talk to you and she's working I mean so it's difficult to schedule an interview in this in this scenario. The next one, uh, the next technique to determine needs of assessment um, is focus groups. Focus, focus groups, focus groups. The good part of focus groups, you know, how you go and divide the employees in small groups and they come up with the answers to a specific questionnaire, okay? So the good part, useful with complex or controversial, controversial issues that one person may be unable or unwilling to explore. Questions can be modified to explore anticipated issues. Okay, so amongst the good part, is that you have smaller groups, okay? But it's time consuming, it's difficult to organize this type of focus groups. Uh, group members only provide information they think you want to hear. Now, this is critical. Uh, just what I was explaining, right? Employees are afraid of talking and they get together. Let's say Carla, Ana and Susana and me, we are in a group. And we go like, no, 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 digas eso, right? Shh. No me hagan despedir. Ay, si sí, es cierto, a lo mejor no pongamos eso, pongamos otra cosa. Oh my God. Yeah, that's not okay, <laughs> right? So, but it happens. Um, complex or controversial issues. Uh, les pongo el ejemplo, una fábrica que conozco, una MIPE, un controversial issue que se ha dado es que entre las mismas operarias se andan relacionando fuera de la empresa, pero bueno, a veces ya han golpeado y, o sea, unas situaciones que, oh my God, dice que no puedo creer ver lo que ocurre, pero esta es una buena forma de abordarlo. Eh, focus groups. Ok, let's see. Documentation. And again, good source of information on procedure, objective good source of task information for new jobs in the process of being created. So again, what we need to do, sometimes it happens that you need to create a new position. When you document, when you document how processes are performed in a position, maybe you determine that you need to create a new position. Has that happened to you? ¿Alguien ha ocurrido esto? Que estás estudiando un caso de cómo se hace un proceso, definiendo las tareas de la posición y resulta que es demasiado trabajo. ¿No será que necesitamos a alguien más para dividir el trabajo? ¿Les ha ocurrido eso? Have you ever been there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
that happens right sometimes in my works the the name is job description yes that's right that's a job description yeah when you're describing the position and you find out that that's too much for one person that's why they created the the accounting auxiliaries accounting auxiliaries were the salvation for some accountants oh oh my god okay um now this has a negative effect if you're documenting a job description thank you uh, you may be unable to understand technical language some positions are too difficult right you need a specialist and materials may be obsolete so when you describe a job position you may find yourself in a problem you may need to delete the position you know what we don't need this position it's too old it, this process the system is doing this process already okay like for example generating a, a balance sheet generar un reporte un balance de resultados oh my god todo a mano antes no ahora el sistema lo hace solo so y si antes había una persona encargada solo de hacer balances ya no necesitamos esa persona oh, oh you got it this could happen as well okay there are different um yes go ahead this remember the application like power bi because uh, resume every information in and when you structure that you don't need the people yes that's right it is true okay so understanding what caused the gap what caused the this um, emptiness is this, this deficiency in knowledge skills and abilities <clears throat> why do we have this deficiency um maybe the person was not inducted pro properly remember the induction process this person didn't have any induction this person didn't have enough time on induction and maybe someone who inducted this person to the position didn't know <laughs> as well you know because this happens sometimes you have new employees and what i was explaining to you on friday let's say i hire anaselmi anaselmi knows about contability i mean oh my god she knows a lot and i hire her but anaselmi leaves in one month oh my god and i have to hire wendy Wendy is hired, Anaselmi teaches Wendy, but Anaselmi only had two days, two days to teach Wendy because she had to go. So what is the result? Do you think Wendy will know everything? <laughs> what do you think? The rotation is very expensive for the company, teacher. Yes that kind of rotation is very expensive but if you understood wendy will not know everything of the company in two days that's not okay okay moving on with this chart reward punishment incongruence okay you can praise someone you know give them um a prize for being the best employee you can punish an employee but there's there's going to be a an equilibrium you know it has to be equivalent equivalent you cannot be punishing all the time anna balance there's got to be a balance thank you that's the word thank you and there's going to be a balance in between Adequate feedback is the key between rewarding and punishing someone. If you provide proper feedback, you will be um, avoiding this situation. Obstacles in the system is something that always happens. So going back, just one more time. So we have 
documentation of the position, focus groups, interviews, questionnaires or surveys, and observation. Again, observation, watching the person performing their job without or with telling them, it's up to you. A questionnaire is the most common tool, a set of questions, 10, 15 questions, 20 the most, but not too many. Okay, interviews, calling the person, just telling them, hey, I need to talk to you. How do you feel with the company? How do you do this process? How do, do you have everything you need? Focus groups, the same thing, a questionnaire, but in small groups, and then putting everything in common. And documenting the position, of course, investigating do we have everything that we need, documenting everything that this person does. And this is very important because you need to have what I told you at the beginning of this last week. Um, you need to have a book with all the functions for each of your positions in your job. Because one day, maybe that person will say, bye-bye, I have to go. <gasps> And then you go like, ¿qué, qué hacía esta persona? Ah, el contador general. Oh my God. ¿Y qué era lo que hacía? Nobody knows, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Bien, knock, knock. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Se, ¿Se ha perdido? ¿Los han entendido un poco? No está complejo la situación. But I was I was thinking sometimes there's a, a manual of procedures, but some things um I'm talking in my case. Mm -hmm. I tell I I tell someday to someone who was taking the, the procedures of my position and was a was a girl. She told me, Can you tell me how do you do that? And I say, oh, no, that's my idea. <laughs> Sorry, but that's only in my head. <laughs> I can't tell you. Really? And yeah, I no, it's my, it's my key. It's my, my, how can I say? My keyword. My, my master key. My master key. <laughs> yeah, because there are, there are things that uh, you can do. Oh, yeah, you can do by um, in another way that they teach you or you know, in another way that you, you learn, I think, I think. And there are things, <laughs> I understand your point, yeah. For there example, are for processes example today, that you develop by yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. Today, my boss was telling something because uh, today I, I arrived late at, at, at work. <gasps> Um, yeah, I have a problem. I, I have a, 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 an emergency at home mm. and I arrive late. And my boss tell to another partner, uh, only two things in the position of Rosalena I can do, but I, ha I have to learn how does she do. And, and, I, and, and I say, and I think in, and what I was thinking, I thought, <laughs> um, yeah, but it's my way. It's you don't need you don't you don't you don't need to look in a in a manual because it's my. It's the way I do things. It's the way I do things. Yes, <laughs> sometimes I I think it's that. okay. You're you're doing good. Um. Well, th but that's you know sometimes. It's just employee perception. I think that as an employee, as a human being, you are always thinking, they're gonna fire me. They're gonna fire me, <laughs> right? So I have to do my job better. I'm gonna stay today working. I mean, you know what? If you do your job among your schedule, you're a good employee, okay? Don't stay at work unless, the boss asks you to do it. Something that I always did when I used to work is um, ask 
before leaving, before leaving the office, hey, boss, I'm leaving. Do you need anything? No, no I'm okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Depend on the, the, the each dynamic of this company, I guess. It's, uh... No, I used to be the assistant, the assistant of the general manager of the company. And you know what? Being honest all the time. It was like, hey, boss, uh, hey, Juan Carlos, I'm leaving. Okay. He was like, wait, 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 wait. Half an hour later, hey, Tony, what's up? You're leaving? Yeah. Oh, did you finish the, the bank conciliations? I was like, yeah. Did you pay the providers? Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. You may leave. Okay. Half an hour. <laughs> hated that and he still does that you know but that's all kinds of bosses that you have right some bosses are good are nice i hope you have a nice boss you know who's always like hey Rosalena, what are you doing here live yes my boss tell me it's it's time <laughs> let's go <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go <laughs> yes Bye -bye. But in in other departments, others, yeah, uh, there are there are those that where do you go? <laughs> it's not time to go. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, where <are> you go? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! No se diga, hablo trabajando para el gobierno. Okay, guys. I think this happened in many companies. Yes, Susana. I think this happened in many companies. What the day they stopped you? Or they ask you to leave. They stop. They stop, they stop you, right? <laughs> it's just, I think wait, wait. It's like your position. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That. that that depends on the position that you have. That is true. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes someone tell me, I hate, I hate need to ask to my boss. Need do you need something else? <laughs> But. <laughs> no, but you, when you become uh, part of the administration, yeah. you, you understand that. As an operator, you know, that's common. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> you yes. leave yes. your job at the time yes. you have to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, that's crazy. We're going to talk <laughs> about it later, but espero que hayan entendido, que hayan disfrutado un poco la clase ese día. Eh, mañana vamos a preparar ese, ese, esa herramienta en grupos cada grupo va a ser una herramienta diferente o lo voy a dejar a que ustedes crean la que ustedes crean conveniente, ¿ok? Good. Eh, porfa, no falten mañana, ¿ok? Eh, recordatorios, uno, eh, ya hay que inscribir para el siguiente módulo, espero que estén pendientes del chat. Y dos, eh, solo ya tenemos hasta mañana a la medianoche para terminar hasta el midterm de la plataforma, señores, ¿ok? I'll see you tomorrow. A la Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana <laughs> Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Sermi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Okay. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. <laughs> Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. She's the baby. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Good Arce. Good night. Here, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night. Present. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Eh, creo que la última vez me quedé con... Present, teacher, with me. <laughs> mm, really? No. Yes. Friday. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So Sandra Gladys. Sandra <laughs> needs to stay 10 minutes. Pero ya se salió. Eh, 
Stephanie no está. Susana, do you have 10 minutes? Okay. Hey. Teacher, did you finish? Almost. Walter <laughs> Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Wendy. Patricia Molina Duarte. Bye. Bye. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. <laughs> Present teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Bye Okay, Susana, Carolina, how are you? I'm good, teacher. I'm good. <laughs> Glad to hear that. So I always make two questions. Y perdón, voy a dar español un ratito, porque es primera vez que estamos juntos. <laughs> no, <laughs> a este punto no debería de ir, pero bueno. A ver, eh, siempre hago dos preguntas cuando estoy con alguien por primera vez en estas sesiones. La primera es cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés hasta este punto. Es decir, han dado rebotando en academias o has, siempre ha estado desde el básico uno acá en inglés corporativo. E, y dentro de eso, ¿qué es lo que usted ha identificado como su talón de Aquiles? ¿Qué es lo que le, más le ha costado? Ya sea la gramática, hablarlo, entenderlo, escribirlo. Y la segunda pregunta eh, ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Yo, Susana, aparte de estas dos horas clase, ¿qué más hago para mejorar? Ok. La primera. Es la primera vez que estoy en una, en una academia, por decirlo así. Si estoy desde el módulo 1. El módulo 1, este, no he estado en nada más que las clases de colegio, ¿verdad? Nada uh -huh. más. Eh, y me olvidó la otra pregunta. <risa> Ver, la mira, otra mira. es que, um, ¿cuál es, uh, cuál ha notado usted que, que es como la, su área de oportunidad principal? O sea, eso que ah, Susana dice cada vez, se pega en la cabeza, Susana dice, ¿qué esto es lo que no me entiendo? No entiendo cómo es esto. Este, necesito, sí, más práctica, eh, porque cuando a veces uno empieza a hablar con alguien, pues más que todo es el saludo, ¿no? Entonces necesito quizás conversaciones más técnicas. Eh, necesito nuevas palabras porque esto tiene muchas cosas que sí desconozco o como no las practico las olvido a lo largo de todos estos módulos si sí te han venido enseñando y te hablan de ciertos temas pero no los practico no todo entonces sí eso siento que, que muchas veces ha dificultado la continuación de la del de aprendizaje la uh -huh. sí sí que no lo practico o sea es como Salgo de estas clases y ya no vuelvo a tocar ese tema. Mm. Y esa era la segunda pregunta. ¿Qué que, que estoy haciendo aparte de las dos horas mm -hmm. que vengo a clase? Bueno, en ocasiones sí. Escucho mucha música en inglés a modo de poder soltar más la lengua. En ocasiones sí busco videos cortos. Mm -hmm. eh, por ejemplo, de, de cómo sustituir palabras o cómo se dice aquí, como de inglés nativo. Más que todo esos tipo, tipo TikToks. Más o menos, que seguís a alguien que te enseñan a pronunciar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Creo que es lo más que hago. Es lo más que hago. En ocasiones trato de, de leer un poquito, pero son frases pequeñas. Uh -huh. O sea, no, no ocupo todas las herramientas que nos han dado. Ok. En lo que te a cierta página o algo así, realmente no dispongo del tiempo. No lo hago. Uh -huh. No lo hago. Eh, no lo hago. <risa> sí. A ver, entonces, una tercera pregunta. ¿Y, y usted quiere de verdad aprender a hablar inglés? ¿O lo sí, necesita? Aquí es la pregunta, ¿lo necesita? En mi trabajo no me lo exigen. Hmm. Ni me lo exigen, ni me piden, ni nada, ni me sugieren. Con todo respeto, o sea, Susana, ¿qué edad tiene usted? 39. 30, 30. Usted es menor que yo, no moleste, ay señor. <ríe> Me llevo un año, Susana. Mire, Susana, le pregunto, y con todo respeto esto, porque fíjese que dentro de este rubro de call centers, yo he conocido personas que llegan al call center a jubilarse. Uh -huh, en uh -huh. serio. O sea, que son personas que se jubilaron de una empresa privada, trabajaron 20, 30 años ahí, 
y después no quieren estar en la casa, ¿verdad? porque solitos ahí, ¿para qué? O sea, mejor me voy a sentar allá, contestarle llamadas a alguien en inglés. Uy, oh, chica, y mejor salario que el que hacían cuando trabajaban. Y ahí está. Increíble. Entonces, se lo pregunto así, Una, bien en son de amistad, porque sí es bien importante. Yo ya estoy pensando qué voy a hacer, Dios mío, cuando ya, cuando ya no pueda. Pero es importante. ¿Qué sí. hago para adquirir vocabulario? Mire, no se complica de la vida. Yo sé que más de lo que ya la de tener trabajo, la familia, uno de los 39, Dios mío. A ver, ahí, ahí les envié yo varios PDFs con eh, verbos. Hay dos listados de verbos y uno de modales, ¿verdad? Y aparte está otro PDF de cómo hacer la tarea diaria. Eso de la tarea diaria, créame que es clave. O sea, agarre un cuaderno en blanco, le va a sonar risible, me, está, me va a decir, me está mandando básico uno otra vez. No, no. Pero usted misma lo ha dicho, lo que no se practica, se, se arruina. Bien. Se arruina. Sí, sí, Así, sí. si uno no Hay practica nada. Cosas que, que vimos que ya no recuerdo. Sin embargo, no, le pregunto, no, no, ¿usted no, no. aprendió a andar en bicicleta? Sí. ¿Cree que todavía se sube a una? De que me subo así, que recorro, no sé. <risa> Yo no aguanto, <risa> dice. Así me pasa a mí también. A ver, ¿ha aprendido a manejar? Sí. No se le olvida. Ya son cosas por inercia que uno hace. Pues su cerebro tiene la capacidad, me va a creer si le digo que su cerebro tiene la capacidad de aprender inglés sin forzarlo, por inercia. ¿Cómo se hace esto? Ese patrón de tarea que está ahí en ese PDF le va a indicar que ponga en colores las palabras clave, los nuevos verbos, déles el significado en español, ocupe muchos colores, porque a su cerebro le encantan los colores. Lo más llamativo es lo que más absorbe, pero... Tiene que estar en un contexto. Y siempre haciéndose las preguntas, el por qué, el cómo, el how, el when, why. Todo eso para hacer más larga la oración. Porque a los adultos nos cuesta el complemento. Cuando aprendemos un nuevo idioma, nos quedamos mm -hmm. cortos. Y lo común es decir, vaya, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. Ya estuvo. I don't play soccer. Do I play soccer? Pero normalmente uno no habla así, dice, yo juego fútbol los domingos en la tarde con mis amigos y después vamos a la playa. Y eso es una oración. Entonces, darle el contexto al cerebro, ¿por qué? Porque así se lo va a memorizar. El cerebro no se va a acordar de con quién fue ni a dónde fue, se va a acordar del verbo, la acción que realizó y el complemento, cómo la realizó. Entonces, eso es lo importante. Si lo estoy haciendo a diario, ¿sí? Uno, dos. Hay otro link por ahí que les envié que se llama Ron Chan. Quisiera ver es el que decía de la conversación que compartió al inicio. Eso. Ajá, lo he querido hacer, pero si realmente Va. no. Música. Me... Usted decía algo. Yo oigo mucha música. No, hombre, mucha no, oh, solo una canción a la semana. Una conversación de esas que usted me dice, de Ron Chan, agarre una. Y así funciona esto, Susana. Reescribe o imprime esa, hora, esa um, conversación. Y durante los primeros dos días de la semana, usted va a andar escuchando y leyendo con la boca cerrada. ¿Cuál es la clave de esos primeros dos días? El cerebro ya conoce las letras que están en el inglés. Y trata de pronunciarlas como lo aprendió en el español. Entonces hay que borrar esa, hay que botarle esa muralla al cerebro. Entonces tiene que escuchar y ver, no hablar. Tercer, cuarto día, empiezo ya a repetir oración por oración hasta que ya más o menos yo agarre confianza, que va a ser el quinto, sexto día, y entonces le doy un uso perfecto al celular. Vengo, Susana. Leo todo de corrido, trato de entonar lo mejor que pueda y lo grabo en mi celular. Lo escucho, me gusta cómo suena y ya agarre confianza. Entonces le doy play a mi grabación y le doy play a la grabación que está en la página. Uno, dos, tres. Puc. Uy, cómo dije eso. Ah, uh -huh. sí, qué chido me salió eso. Muy bien. ¿Qué dije ahí? Uy, no. Y ahí 
Esto se llama autocorrección. Y entonces ya no me va a necesitar a mí, ya no va a necesitar a nadie, que es lo que Dios me regaló a mí cuando estaba pequeño, que yo solito me corregía. Gracias a Dios llegué a eso, que, que yo solito me regañaba y también me premiaba. Me gustaba cuando me salía una oración bien y, pucha, qué bonito lo dije. Sí, yo, eh. Y poco a poco fui entendiendo que sí estaba aprendiendo. ¿Cómo? No sé. Ahora, hoy en día, si lo entiendo, estoy trabajando en mejorar eso. Entonces, ánimo, autocorríjase. Y si tiene a alguien con quien hablar en inglés, aprovecha a esa persona. Me puede enviar un audio a mí de no más de 30 segundos, contestando cualquier pregunta. Por ejemplo, y va, va, vaya por tiempos. Perfección de tiempos. Uh, what do I do every day? Every day I wake up in the morning and go to work and then me mando un audio de 30 segundos, yo le envío el, el feedback. Siguiente semana, siguiente día, no sé. El pasado. What did I do yesterday? Y empezó a hablar en pasado. ¿Ya? Ok, ok. Muy bien, me parece. <ríe> Soy para servirle cuando me necesite. Escríbame, aquí estoy, ok. Gracias, le agradezco. Buenas noches. Good night, Susana. Take care. Gracias. Adiós.